All right, this is the uh, test phase for my Shengzhou Long uh, stepper motor. Um, I have three 1600 ounce torque uh, NEMA 34s here, and I have the uh, the DM 860A stepper drivers. They are um, hooked up to the five volts positive on the rock red that is daisy chained across these inputs for the positive on all three and I have my pins input through the um, the pu pulse pulse negative which is the step and the direction negative which is the dir direction and I have that done on all three which are put on the corresponding pins on the breakout board here which this breakout board is run into the uh, DB25 connector that's going into the back of this computer that I uh, unscrapped for um, this purpose to run the Mach 3 software. Um, this is hooked up to a two different uh, power supplies. I have um, two 48 volt output power supplies, one being a 4.5 amp, one being a 6.5, I'm sorry, that's a 7.3 amp and a 4.2 amp. So I have one 4.2 amp going to one motor, and uh, 7.3 what was 7.3 going to the, to the two two other motors in the drivers um, here, here, and here, and then these are the inputs for the for the motors, and they are hooked up according to the documentation. Um, I have uh, red, green, yellow, blue. For the A plus, A minus, B plus, B minus, and so, uh, and I um, also have hooked up my um, limit switch for a test and my emergency stop for a test, and those are hooked up on the uh, the input side of the breakout panel, and that is on the negative. So these are all ground; these are both grounded into negative, and run through the switch and back into the inputs. So if I plug this in, this is the I just uh, used a USB cable, and I broke out the just the two wires for the um, plus five volts to power up the breakout board for the system, and I also used that and stepped that into uh, what I made a bus bar out of a piece of um, copper I had in my toolbox that I used old cabinet screws and tapped those into this so I could break out the five volts for other uses. So I plug this in. little light comes on there and then I plug in my power supplies for the 48 volts the motors pop like they're supposed to and uh, come over here to the software and go into program run I can hit the left key and I get movement the right, left, right, up, down, and this is page up, page down. So I know I have movement on all my motors. I can move them all at the same time. And I ramped up the speed on the motor tuning settings, which I will show you. This is in the motor, in the config, and motor tuning um, for the three different axes. I have X, Y, and Z, and they're all set the same at 2,000 steps, which is configured on the uh, the dip switches right here, shown, which uh, according to the documentation I have written down here uh, for 2,000 steps, um, looks like off, on, on, off, and then for the 3.5 amp motors, which these are, the switches are set to off, on, on. And then this number four being the dynamic, um, the dynamic current, same as dynamic current. So that's on, whatever that means. I'm not real sure. <laughs> and um, so the thing that confused me the most was uh, because the um, the inputs are all on the positive five volts within the configuration, um, the 
ports and pins configuration for the motor outputs. Um, <clears throat> I had to click the step active low here, step active, step low active, and that enabled my motors to turn. I had a little bit of difficulty in getting them all to work, but these three, I, according to the documentation, I had to have these three checked, but in the documentation it did not show this one checked, so that might throw some people off a little bit. Um, then the corresponding pins are according to the direction and step as it is wired and you just have to do that to what however you have it yours wired um, and also the input signals I have the, the I only have the one switch hooked up for the limit switch which is the X plus plus for the limit and then I also have the have the uh, e-stop hooked up on the pin 10 this is on pin 11 so okay and hit the reset button. Um, if I go into the diagnostics page, you can see when it, um, I hit the motors to run. The motors running, pressing the button. And then I hit the E stop. It kills it. When I hit the key, E stop, this uh, on the diagnostic page, the uh, E stop button starts flashing. Then I hit the reset button over here. Oh, forgot to turn the reset. Reset. And now I can move my motors again. If you can hear them, they're moving. Now, when I go and I'm moving the motor, and I go to hit the E stop, the, this uh, button right here, it kills it. And you can see on the diagnostic screen when I push the limit switch, it lights up. So everything's working correctly um, so far, and I've just got to do some fine tuning for when I actually put this on the machine and get all the gears and everything hooked up and configured for the whatever the uh, sprocket or uh, drive sizes may be according to what um, gears and pinion gears I'm using um, will be further tuned um, and that that's all I can say right now but the the guys uh, over there at Long's Motor they're real helpful in sending me all the documentation and you know they tried their hardest with uh, the communication um, uh, a little broken English but it worked out pretty good and, and I ended up with a good system for a, a pretty good price. That's it.